Hi everybody, it's Miss Carrie from Bridgeville in South Fayette Township Libraries, and it's time for vacate days. And what we're going to be making today is a Spotify frame with your own favorite song. So let's see what you'll need. For the Spotify frames, what you'll need is a plexiglass frame, Mosh Posh, an oil-based paint Sharpie, sponge brush, scissors, the Spotify symbol for your song, and the bottom of what Spotify looks like. So the first thing that I'm going to do for this project is I'm going to cut out the Spotify symbol for my song. And the song that I'm choosing to do um, is my wedding song. The other part that I'm gonna cut out, I'm gonna cut out this part just so then I have it and it doesn't take up an entire sheet of paper. The next part that I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of place underneath where I want everything to be. I'm going to put like a little picture of my husband and I above. And I'm, what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm placing, this is going to be the back of my Spotify frame. I taped on with painter's tape, um, the, sim the symbol or the code, and then I put the song underneath it. So then it looks like this. The next part is I'm going to take my Sharpie. I'm using blue because that was one of our wedding colors instead of white, but a lot of people use white for this, but I don't think it'll matter. And what you're going to do is you're going to trace all of what you see. I think this turned out really well. The only bad thing is that I forgot to print out a picture. So the stuff that you missed that I didn't get to do is um, if you print out a picture, you can use the Mod Podge that's in your kit and a sponge brush. And what you would do is put the Mod Podge on the back of your picture and just put it onto your frame um, where you would like it. You also have the option of doing the front, but um, if it's, I, I would just do the back. And the only other thing that I would recommend that you are getting in the kits, if you're getting the kits, is using a fine point um, marker instead of the Sharpie um, oil paint that I use. You'll be getting the fine points and then it'll help with like the words and things like that. So I hope you all have a wonderful time with this awesome kit and project. And um, next week, what we'll be doing is villain pillows, specifically Cruella DeVille. So you don't want to miss out on that. It's going to be super fun. And there will be kits at the libraries for the villain pillows. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.